Earl Glanshaw Foreman here at Township Chevrolet with another episode of Tech Talk. Uh, today we're going to briefly touch on, uh, on uh, blinker fluid. Um, if you're ever driving down the road and you find your uh, signal lights aren't working or maybe they're flashing too fast, uh, you could have an issue with uh, your blinker fluid level. So that's something I recommend you check uh, usually twice a year. That's why I'm talking about it now because it's a fall and a uh, spring deal for me. Uh, personally with my car. Uh, there's a couple different types of blinker fluid so it's just something to be kind of aware of when you're going to shop for it. Um, you've got your, uh, some vehicles have the clear bulbs and some have the uh, amber bulbs so uh, when you're selecting your blinker fluid you'll have to look to make sure you're getting either amber or your clear. Um, if you swap the two obviously you'll have, you, you could have a different color uh, signal light bulb flash in there so you don't want that for sure. Um, another thing to consider is too a lot of newer cars today come with the LED headlights or uh, signal light, sorry. Um, so if you got an incandescent uh, uh, bulb, you need incandescent blinker fluid. If you have the um, LED, you'll need the LED fluid. Um, if you swap the two, it's not a real big deal. Uh, you're gonna have to drain the system because your, your lights won't flash correctly. Uh, for instance, if you put LED blinker fluid in your car and it has an incandescent, uh, it's gonna blink fast, so, um, and vice versa. If you put the incandescent in the LED, it's gonna blink really slow. So if you find your blinkers are going really, really fast, or hyper flash, they call it, or they're going really slow, uh, it could be due to the you know, your, your blinker fluid. Um, you can go to your uh, Troy here and them at the parts counter and uh, tell them you're looking for blinker fluid, give them your year make model, and they'll be able to tell you what type of fluid you're looking for. Uh, this is the product that we sell here. Um, it's an AC Delco product, but uh, any blinker fluid, if you're stuck uh, on the side of the road or you're at a garage or something like that and you need to put some in, it, it's okay, just as long as you're using the correct size, or the correct type, sorry. Um, that's all there is really to say about that. It's not something you have to uh, maintain. It's not something you have to uh, change. Obviously, it's using it as you run your signal lights. Four ways, obviously, for someone who does a lot of deliveries and maybe parking on the side of the road or something like that, or you're parking and you know and you got to put your four ways on. Uh, it obviously goes through the blinker fluid twice as much because there's more bulbs going. Uh, there's usually only one reservoir per vehicle. Every vehicle is different and where the reservoir is, it's usually either under the hood or in the trunk. Um, and it does all four bulbs. Um, we also have a, uh, just we'll give us a sec here, we'll let the guys shut the alarm off. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say on uh, blinker fluid. Um, like I say, when you, if you need some, uh, come down and see us at the uh, parts department here. And if you need us to put it in, let us know in the service department and we'll top that up for you. Uh, just to touch base on what we're going to talk about next week, uh, muffler bearings. Uh, winter is really hard on your exhaust system uh, and uh, muffler bearings do need to be greased and tightened. Uh, we, this is the product we sell here. Most muffler bearings are universal. There's only three sizes for all, basically every year make and model. There's a few exceptions obviously. but. Uh, there's one of three bearings will do it and it needs to be greased and tightened so um, yeah that's all uh, that's all we had to say today and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys and uh, happy April Fools from all of us at uh, Township Chevrolet thanks